I'm always seeing a lot of mixed feelings about Tamer, so I decided to revisit it. This is a character that I played at launch. So I wanted to check it out and see if it's worth playing in 2023, if maybe there's been buffs since then or whatever. So the coolest thing about Tamer is that you get a pet, the Helling. He actually helps you fight, even though he doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but he does come out in some of the combos that you do. And you also have the option of mounting him and he moves pretty quickly. It's really nice while also having the ability to fight on him, which is honestly the strongest part about Tamer. So I was going to be showing some gameplay being on the Helling and also just fighting in general and just give you my opinion at the end of the video. So let's get started. You know, the coolest thing about this pet is that you can use it as a mount and it actually goes pretty fast too. It's good. Really good. I remember I, I got so excited about Tamer because of this. I was like, ooh, a free mount. Oh my God. Oh, I went down with the beast. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is this is probably like the most annoying thing about Tamer. They put a 10 minute cooldown on the follow ability for your pet. And the follow ability is the only way to make him into a mount. So I have to run on foot now. It's stupid. Why is there a cooldown on that? Doesn't make any sense. Let's see how it does with this this uh, boss here. But pretty much it just made everything trivial <laughs> just to stay on top of this thing and kill stuff with it. All right, let's see how he does with this. I'm really low on health. I think it's because my the Helling dies over time. I think that's probably what it is. Yeah, he's not taking he doesn't take damage. I take damage. I just realized this. So that's what the, the whole point is, is that uh, eventually he dies and goes away and then you have to resummon him. But you see how easy mode this is? Normally I'm getting knocked back like crazy and all that when I play a regular character. Look, I could just face tank them and I'm just holding left and right click. See, this is right click. That's the heal. And then left click is to get my mana back and, and that. And then there's a shift right click. It does that, it's like a ranged ability. Then there's the Q, just pounds the ground, see? And then shift, left click, does these big swipes. I like doing right click. It does pretty consistent damage. And then there's also like directional when he does like a spin, you see? He'll spin to the side and stuff. Do that. Yeah, this is easy mode. Like literally, look, I'm just holding left and right click. That's it. I can take a nap. Good night. Cause you know how it is when you fight this guy. He he knocks he knocks you down like crazy. So look at that. <laughs> I can't believe how easy it is. But let's see what the helling is like of uh, fighting these guys. Cause you know how these guys are. It's just constant knockback, knockback, stun. Yeah, back and right click, and then throwing in those cues. It's not bad. It's it's pretty chilling. At least you don't have to think. You just literally just press press right click and left click. That's it. Well, back, back, right click is definitely the best. This one here, just doing this. And then I'll throw in hold Q like this. Hold Q is nice. Maybe do a shift Q. There we go. Shift Q actually does a lot of damage. When it comes to playing a succession, it seems very weak, and this is probably why a lot of people don't really mess with Tamer, because Succession is more focused from what I've seen on self-healing and doing some super armor stuff. There isn't a whole lot of like block abilities and things like that, so you tend to get knocked down a lot on Tamer, so it just seems like it's really lacking all the support that it needs to be able to sustain itself in a fight. So you're going to spend a lot of time trying to heal, but then if you get stunned or knocked back during the fight, then it just kind of makes it useless, so you're back to square one of trying to heal yourself again. So it just... It doesn't feel very good. Awakening, on the other hand, is really strong. You're going to mainly be holding in F 
because F does a ton of damage and it's very fast. The only downside with it is that you're pretty unprotected with it. So if you get knocked back or stunned during that time, you're going to be screwed just like you would be in succession. But if you could manage to not get stunned during that time, you do a ton of damage. So Awakening is definitely the best way to go if you're going to go Tamer. So I could see why people don't like doing Succession Tamer or even just cancel out a freaking Tamer altogether. Because pretty much you're better off just using the, the, the little Helling thing and running around as him because you don't have to worry about getting knocked back at all. And, and you got pretty much unlimited health with that thing because you just hold right click to heal. Then And there's a few other heals too, like Shift Q, I think, or Shift, Shift F. I mean, Shift R. Uh, one of those. One of those Shifts. But yeah, like uh, that's stronger than succession. Honestly, it's just being on top of him. So like, I don't know. It just it seems weak to me. But awakening is really cool. I like awakening, so I'm gonna continue just because of awakening. All right, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.